Welcome to tonight's stream, everyone. I hope you are doing great. We are back here with some VGC 2022 Series 12 content. And tonight we're going to be playing a Kali Ice and Reshiram team. It should be a lot of fun. If you want to try the team or check the team details out, it'll be linked down in the description below. There is a poker paste and there is the rental code as well if you want to try the team out. Zashin Kyoga, Latias, Garados, Porygon Z and Venusaur. Pretty seamless trick room up with Mimikyu here if you want. You've got to be careful around Taunt, Gyarados and things like that. And obviously Sleep Powder Venusaur. But Reshiram and Kali do a pretty nice job. You kind of want to bring the Gastrodon for Gyarados, but and the Kyogre. Yeah, the Gastrodon's really nice. I think Gastrodon Kali, to be honest. Yeah, let's go with this. Okay, let's do this. It's like I think the the volatility of making like one critical mistake in a match. You, like in a Dynamax format, you get punished so hard for it. And it's been pretty evident in the last two games how hard we got punished for those, you know? I mean, we might have to sack. We might have to sack the, the Incineroar just to allow us to get the Trick Room up with Mimikyu. Because I think out of the two, you probably... No, you don't max Kyogre. Surely not. Surely not. Because if you max Kyogre, you know that the Gastrodon's a threat, right? So you probably want to avoid doing that and getting yourself kind of locked into a situation where you can you can just water spot anyway. But then the Sleep Powder becomes a, a big issue from the Venusaur. Um, we'll try the Trick Room. So they may not max anything here. But I think in the cause of stopping the sleep, which is way more of a threat to the whole thing, we'll 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 fake out into the Venus Soul. DK Trin, don't get the Venus Soul. The Venus Soul's really good. Yeah, they went for that. They went for that. They went for that. Okay. That's not ideal. Venus Soul's really good at, at putting pressure on the Gastrodon when it kinda hits the field. That's the big thing. Yeah, we fake out the wrong one. Talked about the Kyogre not maxing because it doesn't make too much sense. We do lose the Incineroar. We should our Mimikyu should take an attack from Venu. <clears throat> and you know if you've got that Sun team as well, like the Venusaur has that potential of Sleep Powder. You would imagine it's got Sleep Powder. So there's a Max Quake coming out. Okay. At least it's not Max. Vine Lash, which would have been way worse. But we'll still probably have to contend with the Max Vine Lash, to be honest. But I would imagine next turn we will probably see the Venusaur protect. But I mean, the predictions aren't going so well tonight. You would imagine the Venusaur is going to protect now. Suspecting the weakness policy on the Calyrex. And then we max Quake into the Kyogre slot. And just, just to double check, they've got... Uh, they do have flyers that they could bring in there. It won't be a good option for them. Could just protect the Kyogre. I mean, the big thing is they want to try and get the, the G-Max Vine Lash off. You know? So it's like, do we try and just prevent that? I think we do, you know, because I think really if we can prevent... Yeah, the Kyogre are going to switch. It probably protects. But if they don't, then we can punish it and we can get rid of it. On plus one, maybe. Gyarados coming in. That Intimidate. Is a plus one going to be enough? It depends how... How the Venusaur's been trained, of course. Divdax, it's been a while, mate. How are you doing? I hope you're well. Love watching the Japanese trio play for Celtic. Yeah, Celtic. Celtic. It, the, like the old firm derbies as well are so good these days as well. Like, you know, like for a few years where Rangers were kind of out the leagues, were never as good. Right, come on. Plus one. We need it to be enough so we can avoid the, 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 the Vine Lash stuff. Shenanigans. 
And also, if the Venusaur drops, Gastrodon pretty much wins this game for us. So, it's a big, it's a big, it's a big, it's a big, it's a biggie. Okay, we get it. That's good. <clears throat> Which is nice. Jason, by the way, did you already compete in the VGC Regionals? Uh, been a while since last time I caught the stream. Yes, so I went to Liverpool Regionals uh, a little while ago. Um, and I finished 6-2 in that event. So... Um, not enough to make cut for day two. You pretty much had to go X1. I think one X2 got in um, to the top eight, I think. So, yeah, I just needed one one less loss that day. I was pretty pleased with how I played, to be honest. And the team, the team performed super well. I was playing well. So, all in all, I was, I was pretty happy with how how it turned out. I just kind of wish it... It obviously been a little bit different. It would have been nice to get into the top eight and like just push on a little bit more, but I can't really complain too much. Um, if we just bring Gastrodon in and go Max Hailstorm into the Gyarados, I think that's probably what we do. Just because the Kyogre hasn't got anything that really threatens the Gastrodon, whereas the Gyarados does carry something like power whip so it could be a little bit of a threat if we leave it unchecked here and bring the gastrodon in but the gastrodon switch now makes a lot of sense because it feels like all that we're going to see is some sort of big water type attacks coming out puru shotum link how you doing cool team interest in mimikyu yeah the, the the safeguard seems to be like a thing that we're seeing a lot on these mimikyus as well at the minute but a bit of a, a um, a kind of a realization in the um, in the first game where if you yawned and you set the safeguard up after that, it won't prevent the uh, the status condition kind of kicking into effect. Which is a little bit of a shame, but how many turns of trick room we've got left? That's the big thing. I don't know if really... They're going to rely so heavily on that Gyarados, though, to beat Agastrodon, I think. we got two turns left. Zashin has to protect, you would imagine. But I'd also imagine that the Gyarados would come in for the Kyogre here. I kind of want to yawn. Okay, let's yawn into the Kyogre slot. Because I think the Gyarados comes in there and let's Max Quake into the Zashin. Because I think they pull the switch from the Kyogre... Oh no, they go the other way. Okay. What's this Kyogre gonna do? Is it maxing? It can't max. It can't max. No, it's not. It's just going for a water spout. Hmm. It's a little frustrating. It's a nice play from my opponent. Just an ice beam. Okay. Ryan, how are you doing? Thanks so much for hopping and joining us tonight. Hope you're having a great day, mate, and enjoy the stream with us tonight. Yeah, we need to um, we need to yawn into that Gyarados slot with the last turn of Trick Room kind of happening right now. It'd be nice to have the Mimikyu on the field so we could kind of double Trick Room in this situation. Um, Actually, what we'll do is we will get the Mimikyu back on because I do feel like the Gyarados is probably going to get a Power Whip off here. And a Glacial Lance just makes sense. And I don't think they're going to max the Kyogre here. Like, definitely not maxing the Kyogre. Because one, they... Yeah, they might switch it out to the Zashin, which would be good because that would mean we'll, we get rid of it on the Protecting just to go to sleep. Okay. Just double protect. Okay. Divdax getting back into VGC little by little. I actually went uh, to Bilbao last weekend. Didn't compete, but the tournament was so lively. Awesome to hear, mate. And great to hear that you went, you got to go to the event as well, which is super nice. William, uh, who do you think uh, winning the North London Derby? T is, it is it not tonight? Is it tomorrow night? I thought it was tonight. I thought it was Wednesday night. Uh, North London Derby. But you're probably right. Um, okay, let's Wisp. 
and Trick Room. Gyarados can have Taunt as well, but you're not knocking out a Calyrex, but you are knocking out a Mimikyu. Okay, so that's all right. Yeah, I thought, I don't know. Um, I got I got family members that are Tottenham fans, so I kind of have to side with Tottenham, to be honest, like in this one. <laughs> um, even though they did give us a thrashing the other week. Um, so, yeah, for, for them, the moral support, I will say that I I'm giving um I'm gone I'm giving uh, Tottenham Tottenham the support for this one. All right, let's ice beam and let's just glacier lance here as well. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Zashin's gone down. So they're going to get another intimidate off with the Gyarados, but the chip that we're getting on the Kyogre the whole time is kind of nice as well. Should be good with a hail chip, yeah. Sorry. It's be nice if this knocks out because it means we get at least a boost to kind of compensate against the intimidate. So we we'll keep getting from the the um, the Gyarados. Yeah, there we go. Wow, it does so much to Kyogre. You know, I really like Gyarados in this format as well, especially when you kind of consider like a lot of the uh, the Sun teams like are popping up everywhere. Um. I think it has a lot of legs. Like, it's just a switch in for, for Zashin as well. I know I talked on Monday night about Amoongus with Rocky Helmet. But if you think like the resist, it's got to Zashin with the Intimidate. It's not a bad item to think about on on something like Gyarados. The only issue is Aleki. Aleki kind of makes life very difficult. But you could say the same thing about Rillaboom making life difficult for Gastrodon. And Gastrodon still manages to do well. So I think it's just about playing it in the right situations. But I do really like Gyarados. In the format i think it's really really good um it's gonna max it's gonna max 100 percent. let's yawn it and um glacial lance and that should kind of keep us covered a bit uh william i don't know i reckon spurs are gonna win gonna be a good game regardless always is yeah it's gonna be a great game and Bruno, how you doing? Nice talking to you the other day on Twitter. How is your wall hanger holding up for a strat? Doing all right, mate. It's still it's still there. There is no hole in the wall, but great talking to you as well, mate. I hope you uh, had a great time in Indy and um, the result was good and just had a really fun weekend. It sounded like a lot of fun. Filippo, you see, this is the trend tonight. He did already max the Venu. Felt like a different match. <laughs> okay. Too much talk about the North London Derby. Not enough talk about the uh, the Pokemon. Well, at least we've wrapped this one up. I still like Gyarados. I think it's a really good Pokemon. But that should be it with um, Agastro and Kali. And there we go. Good game to my opponent. Okay, we got the Rinya Sun team up next. So let's see what we can do against this. Not going to be easy, but not going to be impossible either. I think Incineroar is like super, super important in this game for us. Uh, let's go Reshiram. I think is a nice lead. Kali's really good if we can get the, the Trick Room up, of course. Do we got Mimikyu as well, maybe? Let's see that. Mimi Kali. Yeah. Okay. John, I want Gigantamax, Dynamax for me and Megas. I mean, that would be really cool. It, I think they like, I think there was some uh, people with like custom firmware kind of saw that Megas were kind of coded into the background of Sword and Shield data. So there was some pictures going around very early Sword and Shield days where you had like Mega Charizard X and things like that in their Dynamax form, which was pretty cool. Bevum, that's how they're gonna fix this abomination. Yeah, I think, I think, yeah, I probably both A and B. Bevum, I reckon is the the way to fix it. Like honestly, right? Let's. I mean, if the Grimmsnarl decides to trick us, they get an assault vest, and they're pretty useless for the rest of the game, right? I think we part and shot out onto the Gastrodon. Do we just try and get?
Do you think they will max Quake? I don't think they will. Hmm. We just drop a Draco onto it and just get some damage onto it. Squirrel, how are you doing, my friend? I hope you are well and having a great day. Thanks so much for coming in the stream. Ideal. <laughs> right, where are we seeing the Gastrodon go for this Yawn? Where is it yawning into? Probably the restroom, I would imagine. Gives a pretty free switch to the Kali. Ryan, I think Megas would be cool, but it shouldn't be able to Dynamax Megas. That would be broken. Uh, I just want Megas for the genies, especially my Thundee. Yeah, I love... Yeah, I think, like, having Megas... Right, did we get... Drowsy, yeah, that's what happened. Yeah. Yeah, I think Megas and um, having them... Mm. I think Protect. And let's try and get NC alongside... Pressure him here. That might work a bit better. Yeah, I think like no way you want to Dynamax Megas. That's just that's just nuts. It would be cool, very cool to see Don't Guys wrong, but like competitively it would just be it'd be a disaster. Disaster. Power creep would be unreal. Could you imagine it in like a restricted format as well? It'd be nuts. Yeah, Megas are hundred percent Nova. Let's see where we see the yawn going into this i kind of just want to get a glacial lance off if i'm completely honest like i don't really care about the yawns the gastrodon going for yawns is not really something i'm too worried about we'll go for the fake out into the grim snarl might have been better to kind of potting shot but i kind of worry about this grim snarl having something like foul play that could be a little bit annoying to deal with and also the trick there as well as a little bit frustrating to deal with and just getting damage on the board is always a good thing and yeah the yawn coming out okay dynamax mega rayquaza my god could you imagine absolutely nuts we could have got a trick room up there as well so i'm gonna pull rush room in and i think what we'll do is we'll go for a yeah, another parting shot onto gastrodon Ryan, do you like dynamic speed mechanic? I do, I love it. I think it's something that Pokemon's missed for years. So to have it finally introduced, I think it's really good. Yeah. And it makes a lot a lot more Pokemon in previous gens. If that was the case, it would be a lot more viable, you know? Groudon hitting the field just in time for Reshiram to come in. Imagine Dynamax Mega Kang going for two max moves in a row. Oh my god, that would that would actually happen as well. That would be that would be horrendous, horrendous, wouldn't it? It'd be horrible. Yeah, two max knuckles in a row, plus two mega kang. Ugh. <laughs> and next is that like as Ashen or something, just getting those boosts as well. Um, hmm. to go mimic you here and try and get a trick room up. It's probably not a bad time to try and get the trick room activated though. The light screen's up, we gotta remember. They made T Wave, but I mean we don't really mind the T Wave if they um They're gonna max quick, that's the only problem. Like we could max wormwind now. Um and trick room as well. Because there's no chance they bring in Zash in in this situation. I don't think, anyway. DK trading missed a huge spot when you cut your grass earlier. Dude, I used to do that all the time. I'm so lucky now. We've got like, uh, we've just got like fake grass in, in the backyard and it's 
it's really nice it looks super nice all the time as well like it looks like it's like perfect it's actually really cool as well it gets like it feels like super nice it's a weird thing to kind of discuss on stream but it's um yeah it's it's surprisingly surprisingly cool surprisingly <clears throat> pair mega, mega can with orangery with instruct my god could you imagine how nuts that would be there's that spirit break coming out from the Grim Snarl. I like that my opponent's not really committed to a max yet. I mean, we can burn the Groud on this next turn, so we're not really too worried about it with those max quakes. If it does decide to go down that route, um, I think we just start max flaring, though. Let's go after the Grim Snarl and get rid of that. But, um, to be fair, I would like a format without gimmicks and restricted for a long time after the very long period and successive formats of restricted. Yeah, I do. F I feel the same. You know, I think if we had something like like that's why I think when BDSP dropped and there was all the, the the kind of rumors around, or kind of the clamor more from from players like you know wanting BDSP is the 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 official VG format. I don't know how many people realistically wanted that to happen, but I was definitely one of those players. And I really, really love BDSP doubles. I think it's like it's a it's a really, really good format. Um and I think it would have really been something very, very fun to um to do for VGC. It's a very different game when you haven't got the gimmicks, Bebum, and it's um when you haven't got max, you haven't got megas, you haven't got Z moves. It's like that that thing though, you can have a bad matchup, but you can still win. Like a bad matchup by just play outplaying your opponent with your team and out maneuvering them, if that makes sense. Uh okay. Mm. Do we just go another max flare into the Grim Starts? Or do we go for. I mean, what potentially is going to come in there? You know, the Gastrodon's in the back. Which could come in. We could safeguard now as well. It would give us a little bit of protection against the Gastrodon when it decides to come onto the field again. Yeah, let's go for that. Let's go for it. Adam, favorite non-competitive Pokemon. Favorite non-competitive Pokemon. Probably Vileplume, you know. I talked about this last week on stream. I love Vileplume. I really do. I don't know whether it's like you could class it as competitive or not, but it's not something you ever really see in VG. So, a very like maybe like the one-off team. Like a thumbnail, like you know, like that that clickbait thumbnail that you see, like Vileplume ripping a team apart, maybe. But like that's maybe like once in like I don't know how many years of, of playing VG, and I could be making that up as well. So I definitely say Vileplume. I think Vileplume would be my choice for that one. What about you, Aeroblast? Which format should follow after Series Twelve? I would say a non-restricted format with no Dynamax, which they could potentially do, but I don't think they ever will do, uh, if I'm completely honest. I don't think they'll ever do that. With the amount of streams that they're going to have for events going forward, uh, even if it stays like Sword and Shield till November, you're going to have a bunch of streams. So I don't think they'll not they'll do non-Dynamax, if that, if that makes sense. Could we do this? Because 100% the Zashian is going to protect here. And if it doesn't, we get the Will-O-Wisp off. And Kali's a nice switch in where we can just put a bunch of pressure on my opponent. Series 12 is leaving a bad taste in my mouth. Uh, I don't know. I still like Series 12. I think like Compared to like the other series we've had, I think, in the Sword and Seal circuit, it's kind of nice for the first time where... Okay. You're proccing my own weakness policy. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I think when you compare it to like the other... 
Dyke series. Series 12 is pretty good, to be honest. But it's been weird, Sword and Shield. They, you know... They just... You know, had like new series, like new rule set every three months. It's crazy. We've never like had anything, anything like that before. Um, is this our last turn of Trick Room? It is. Are they going to switch out the Zash in here to save it being burnt? Because they just protect it. Because we could double Trick Room here. It's kind of risky. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of risky. And I think it's safer just to Glacial Lance and Will-O-Wisp regardless here. Because then we can just protect. Yeah, they could, oh, we could have done it. But I still think this is this is probably safer to do. Because the Glacial Lance will probably take down the Groudon. Uh, maybe not both. Because they've got the Reflect up. So we are plus two. But maybe the Groudon goes down. Maybe. Ooh, we get the Groudon. Okay. But yeah, the, the safer play is to... Oh, this is going to knock that out. Yeah, just to get the Incineroar in now for the Mimikyu. What I was going to say is get the Incineroar in, protect the Calyrex, get the Fake out. But the Gastrodon's going to be gone because of the, the burn damage anyway. So that's fine. Dude, I think Colossal is at the weakest it has ever been since the G-Max, which is a lot. Yeah, I think so as well, mate. Yeah. Crazy because it's been so dominant, hasn't it? The Gastrodon does kick around. There's a trick room ending. I think Incineroar is still fine to bring in here and get that, that fake out support. I think the thing that would worry me a bit is if the Zashin has substitute, which could be a little bit awkward because if it subs here and we pivot into Incineroar, uh, we can't fake it out the next turn, and it kind of makes it a little bit more tricky. But we should be all right. I forget we've still got Reshiram in the back as well, which which is nuts. Jude, which makes me more enjoyable to play to be competitive. Yeah, completely honest. Yeah, I I I get that. I agree with that as well, Jude, for sure. But like series, like Sword and Shield is a weird. Has been a weird gen. Like I've really enjoyed it, but the power creep has just been. It feels a little bit too much. Like the power creep that we've seen has been a bit too much, in my opinion, I think, because um, like you've got Reggie Alecki, which is just busted. You've got the Calyrex forms, which are both ridiculous. Uh, you've got Urshifu as well, which I mean, like, there's no way Urshifu can go into any future gen where there's not Dynamax and have that ability. No way. And I mean, the signature attacks as well. Like, there's just, yeah, no chance of that 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 being a thing. Um, They're going to yawn us. But I guess it's all right. Because we can then, yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Whatever happens. Trick room up. We, here we go. Yeah, there's just too many things, I think, that like in this. And then you got Dynamax on top of that, which I think would be all right. If we didn't have, like, well, there's just so many things with Dynamax that you think they could have made it a little bit. Like, the, the fact that you can't flinch um, for one is a big thing. And other things as well. There's there's so much with Dynamax that we could go into. But we'd, we'd be here hours, friends. But, you know, I just think all in all, when you look at, like, Sword and Shield, the power creep is ridiculous um and hopefully it doesn't like continue because you think like when you look at like tcg as well like the power creep and that is just gradually getting more and more and more right and hopefully vg doesn't follow that other games don't follow that it'd be nice to have that like plateau for gen 9 where it's a bit more like balanced even sort of thing but i don't know we'll have to wait and see bevum i'm not saying it's bad but maybe it's me being done with the uh, sword and shield as a game maybe dude i think a lot of people feel the same way you know the game is still hunting up pretty well after three years yeah i mean the game's done amazingly well 
like really well for the amount of time it's been <clears throat> out, you know. But I I really enjoyed Sword and Shield as a as a gen. I think it's really good. Gen yeah, Gen nine I'm looking forward to, but Gen eight and all. It's been a pretty nice time to be honest like aside from like if we're just looking at it from like a game point of view because we've had like sword and shield we had bdsp and then we had legends Arceus as well which is pretty cool how many turns we got three there's no there's no chance that they are sneaking out of this one and there's no chance we're messing this up with a blue flare miss DK Trading started playing VGC with Sword and Shield, so I'm def ready for Gen 9. Definitely ready, mate. Era Blast, I wonder what data Game Freak uses to balance their games between generations. Uh, they do, yeah, I wonder as well. I do wonder, but they definitely do. Uh, they make adjustments. Like, you look at, like, Pokemon like Talonflame that were, like, once upon a time, like, totally busted with, like, their Gale Wings ability, which that, that got nerfed. And there's loads of examples of that happening, you know, so... Um, it'd be interesting to see what, what they do. I think Ally Switch is probably a big one. Uh, if you look at like busted things that, that like win tournaments, I think those showcasing moments are quite important um, for Game Freak. I think they do look at those sort of things. Okay, good game to my opponent. There's a rental team for this team. If you want to try it out for yourselves, be my guest. Hope you have a lot of fun with it and hopefully it inspires some ideas for your own builds as well. Uh, if not, just trying out the Calyrex and the restroom. Take care, friends. Take care. Bye-bye.